production releases of Digital Asset Management and Content Composer were included with HCL Portal 9.5 CF181 containers. In this video, I will demonstrate how to deploy Digital Asset Management and Content Composer to an existing HCL Portal 9.5 on OpenShift. If you would like details on deploying Portal itself on OpenShift, please see the description below for a link to the Getting Started with HCL Portal on OpenShift video which demonstrates this topic. So as you can see, here is my OpenShift environment. I have a namespace or project name OIH Deployment where I have Portal deployed. Note that I only have one pod of Portal running. If you have multiple pods, you will need to run Update DX and reduce the number of pods to one before deploying the Digital Asset Management and Content Composer pods. And here is my Portal server. Currently running CF183. If I review the navigation menu and web content, I can confirm that I don't see the digital assets nor the content composer. So let's begin by reviewing the HCL product documentation. I can confirm that I meet the prerequisites of having Portal 9.5 CF181 or higher with Practitioner Studio already running. The next step is to upload the images to my private registry. On the HCL software portal, you can find the latest container releases under the HCL portal 8.5, 9.0, 9.5CFs directory. In this video, I will use the CF183 packages since that's the portal version I have deployed, but I won't cover the upload process since that topic has already been covered in the Getting Started with HCL Portal on OpenShift video. So moving on to the next steps, it tells us how to deploy Digital Asset Management and Content Composer. I need to create a config map with the settings shown in this doc. I have already copied out the sample YAML and updated it with my image names and tags. Several points to note in this file. You can see each feature has a dot enabled parameter where you can specify either true or false to deploy the feature or not. As you can see, I have included the open LDAP image here, but I chose to disable it since I don't want to configure it right now. You can choose to enable the digital asset management and content composer together or separately. However, both of these features rely on the experience API. So you need to enable the experience API if you're enabling either one of them. Lastly, my private registry or repository is the same one I use to deploy portal. If you upload these images to a different repository, there's an additional parameter you can include to provide the, the repository. For example, for the content composer, you can include dx.deploy.contentui.repository. Please see the documentation for more details. Additionally, I've created a YAML file to create a volume for the digital asset management. I'm using the same storage class I used for the WP profile volume of the portal pods. The documentation also states that a self-provisioning volume is created for the HCL Digital Asset Management Library service. Okay, with the images uploaded and the YAML files created, I'm ready to deploy. Accessing my OpenShift console, I'll first use the OC apply to create my volume. Then I'll deploy the config map. Switching back to the OpenShift web console, you can see additional pods are already being deployed and the portal container is back into init mode. At this point, portal is being configured to utilize the newly enabled features, digital asset management and content composer. If I check my volumes, I can see the digital asset management volume I created and the self-provision volumes are already bound. Reviewing the config maps, I can see the one I created with the settings I specified. So at this point, I just need to wait for Portal to finish being configured and to start up. Okay, once Portal is back up and running and ready, I should be able to access Portal.
I open up the navigation menu, I should now see digital assets to access the digital asset manager feature. And that does look good. Now, if I go into web content, I should now see content composer. And that also looks good. This concludes this video on deploying digital asset management and content composer to portal 9.5 on Red Hat OpenShift.